welcome to Floxy Friday. I am Jess. I'm just waiting for Eve to hop on with us. How is everybody today? Everybody good on this fabulous Friday? I know I am. The weather is nice. I'm ready to chill. Hi, everybody. Hello. How's everybody's Friday going today? Hey, Sarita. How are you doing? I see you there. doing good. Eve should be joining us in a second. Hi. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks. Good. Good. Yeah, doing great. I feel like uh, I'm very close to the camera, but happy Friday. Believe me, happy Friday, I say. Yeah, me too, girlfriend. Oh my Trust gosh. You. Trust me. What a week. It really has been. Mm -hmm. It's been a blur, that's for sure. So, wow. Um, so, not, we, I, um, Welcome everybody. We're so glad you've joined. Thanks so much for being here. Jess, thanks so much for doing everything that you do to get these agendas ready to go for us. It's so great. Um, <laughs> so yeah, before we get started, I cannot, I would be amit, uh, remiss if I did not um, just read through something that we have um, prepared here on our end. So in this time of national sorrow over the tragic events in Texas, I just wanted to thank you for you um, for joining us today. The unfathomable issue, issues and losses across our country from Buffalo to Uvalde are every family's worst nightmare realized. This is not something we can easily recover from at all. And what we here at Floxy uh, are called to do is to create a safe space where people of all races, religions, and beliefs can share time, affection, and kindness, especially through these terrible, terrible times. As we knit, crochet, or make, let us stitch in some thoughts and prayers for those who are suffering and wish them a few moments of peace. And uh, we just wanted to start out with that today because we're here to talk about really great fluffy things. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, it's in, and we had to be able to address this from the top because we have been really blindsided. It's been really heavy, yeah. Yeah. So um, it has been a heavy week and it really rang close to home because every American should be able to go to the shopping store and they should be able to go to uh, school and, um, and, not, and feel safe, right? So... It's incredibly difficult uh, for everybody, and especially for um, for those who are in Uvalde at this time and families that have been affected by this incredible tragedy. So, um, we want to get uh, to tell you a little bit about what's coming. Um, and so, why don't you get us started, Jess? Okay. Um. So we are so excited to have Amy from Lobby and May. Join us on the 1st. We're so excited for, to do a live um, with her to talk about her very first lecture with us. Um, her lecture is going to be on June 17th from 12 to 2 o'clock um, Eastern Daylight Time. And we are just so pumped. We are so pumped about that. And so this is actually Amy's first ever lecture. She's never lectured before on any platform and she's coming to Floxy for the first time to lecture. So it's really a significant thing and we're super excited about it and Amy is very excited about it as we work through um, the topic of the lecture, which it ha we have not released yet. We know what it is. We know what it is for weeks, but we are going to be releasing that um, very, very soon. So mm -hmm. yes. On June 1st. I know. June I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm like, every time I'm like, I need to not say it. <laughs> no, it's like, it's I hard know, not it's, to just say it. It's really hard because it's so good. All right. Um, what do you, what do you have going on today? What, what whips are you working on? What are okay. you? 
So I have a finished object. <gasps> you I do? Have, well, I have worn this on camera, but I've never actually shown anyone that we, we finished it. So um, this is, the, and, and because we're talking about La, of Amy, of Labby and Amy, mm -hmm. I wanted to show you this. This is the perennial. This is the <laughs> pattern from Worsted. It's Nora yeah. Garn's pattern. And mm -hmm. it, it's so beautiful on. Remember when you came to train with us, Jess? I wanted to wear it all week. I couldn't stop yep. wearing it. It's so amazing. So, so that's the front. It has this detail that, you know, it comes up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in the back, it has, it repeats the cable. It's so good. It's so good. This, yeah. with, I, you know, it's just a beautiful sweater. Oh my gosh, it's in the Corey Worsted. It's really, really beautiful and really nice to wear. Um, I, uh, I, I know last week I talked about the Hohe sweater, super simple. I got cracking on that and you'll be surprised. <gasps> I'm, I got the neck done. I got a, oh my one, goodness. Yeah, one of the stripes. I'm so, so proud of you, look at you go. Well, it's so simple, it's just knit, 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 knit the entire time. So it's really fast and I've been knitting like the clappers and um, Harriet's. Knitting like what? The clappers. What does that even mean? I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going mad with my knitting. That's, That's what it awesome. means. Oh, but I know. I'm telling you, it is a lot of progress. Erica, I tell you, for me, it is. It right? really is. <laughs> he never has time to do anything. So I'm like so shocked that you okay. already have almost two stripes done. I know. It's so good. But I have to tell you, before I put it away, this yarn is the Coleman yarn from Queen City Yarns and it is so easy to work with. It's so nice. It feels so good. It's silky soft but cool all at the same time. Yeah. It's really, really lovely. And you know, when I was in Maryland with my lovely friend Sarita, she had these little stop stop needle stoppers. Ne I've knitted for nearly my entire life. And I have never noticed these little doodads, which I absolutely love. And they work very well for this type of pattern because, and this yarn, because it's so slippy, silky, you know, mm -hmm. and not silky, but it just is. It's just so lovely. No, there's it's silk in there. Silk and linen, I think, right? And it it's, is, yeah. it's just gorge. And I love these things because they don't pop off. You know, my, yeah. my knitting just stays on, which, you know, maybe I'm ludicrous for not knowing about these earlier, but honestly, they're really good. They are awesome. So what how have you, you been... like knit, How do you like knitting with it? The with this, thing. it's gorgeous. I, I really am enjoying it so very much. It's just super simple. It gives, like I'm not knitting too tight. It's like just really easy to work with. I nice. didn't expect it at all. I can't wait until you block it because it changes when you block it. It's so soft. It's going to be yeah. so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it needs a good block. That's for sure. For uh, sure. Yeah. But it's really, really a lovely sweater. It's a lovely pattern. And I cannot wait. Again, it's ho ho super simple summer sweater, I think it is. And it's just, I can't wait to get it on. So I'm dying to get it going. You know, I wanted to talk to you, Jess, about the issue of like not being able to finish one pe one item and moving on to the next. Because that's what I've done here is, I I didn't even finish my Andrea sweater uh, cardigan, and now I've started on this one, and I'm just wondering like how do you deal with that? Do you just make yourself finish? I can't yeah. get my arms done. Literally, um, I we're actually gonna have a post about that um, in the coming week. Um, or two, um, because I have so many whips that I haven't even finished. And I, I completed a whole, was it a whole sweater? I feel like I completed, oh yeah, my, um, my cold shoulder crop. I started that one wow. and I, I literally stopped everything else just to work on that. Cause I really wanted to get it done for Maryland sheep and wool. Mm -hmm. And I was so close. Um, but, but can we um, talk about that please? Yeah. A lot lock it's way faster to finish something without sleeves and so the cold shoulder crop was like wow I could totally knock, knock that out in a weekend but it just looked like a great pattern to knit and it didn't have any arms to deal with I was like yes that's my type of pattern 
It's so good. I actually tested it the first time around. Um, and that's my most worn thing. I actually wore it to the to our interview um, because I love it so much. Um, and I knew that, okay, I thought Maryland was going to be warm, hence the, the no <laughs> sleeves. <laughs> that was Holy my naivete. <laughs> but um, I just, I thought it would be so great to wear it there, um, especially with the five borough yarn um, crafters assemble color that I bought, which was a Captain America inspired colorway. And I knew that uh, Multiverse of Madness was coming out that weekend. So I was just like, everything was kind of coming together. And I was like, I can wear it to Maryland and then I can wear it to go see Doctor Strange, um, which I did finish to actually go see Doctor Strange in it. So that was a, a nerdy personal goal. So but it was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I have to prioritize my whips because yeah. I have like five of them. I know. I'm not done. I do too. I've got lots going on. And I, I have to confess, I had multiple things going on. I have this one little kit that I carry around and I always take it from one project back to the other. And then it occurred to me that I actually have one of these. <gasps> I don't have one yet. I have one of these. And so I grabbed that little knit kit and I put it into this second one with my summer knit. And so I have multiple now bags with all the bits and doodads in, in, in them that I need. So it, that was really super clever. And I just love this kit. And it's, it has, you know, I track in my, my rows with it. It's fab. I feel like a natural, real, proper knitter, even though I've knitted for so long. I feel like a pro. It's fabulous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Love that. I need one. They released one for May the 4th because I think they're also huge Star Wars nerds as I am. And I, that almost got me. Almost. Well, this is, it's really great. It, I, okay, so the features that I really love is this. The tape oh, measure yep. is right in the side here. And I do love the, the back opens up and you've got the scissors and the stitch markers. I'm using, of course, when I started this, I had this ha handy. And so I was able just to grab a stitch marker. I, I didn't have to go hunting for one. I just grabbed it right out. It's on this, I can't find it right now, but it's actually on here. But yeah, it's like so easy because you can just grab and go. It's here. Look, see? Yeah. Through the stitch marker right on. And I didn't have nice. to get up because I had this right there, right there in my bag. So nice. that was really fab. And I, you know, I hate getting up and down all the time. Yeah. You know, as as mums, with... says she has like five because she needs them in all her whips, and they are huge Star Wars fam nerds. Yes. Oh yeah. So am I. Awesome. I'm like I dressed up like Leia for our post. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are you working on? Um. Well, I'm going on vacation, so I caked up my lobby anime, and you inspired me last week because I'm doing the Rumble Raglan. Ooh. You were inspired. Yep. Go. They are gorgeous. Thank you. I love those. Yes. Okay. I got so them what? At Forever Doylestown. Forever Doylestown. Or Forever so, Yarn from Yarn. So they're all be they're all Amy's, right? Yes, they're all Amy's. So this one's peanut butter and jelly. This one is a ma is the uh, one of the anime colors. I don't want to butcher it. And then this one is Air Guitar. Um, Erica Tart. Air guitar, yeah. Air guitar, okay. Yes. Air guitar. I love, I love, well, first off, I love a bit of air guitar myself. When I yes, get a bit giddy, too. I always do a bit of air guitar. <laughs> and I need that colorway because that is gorge. I love that. Good. That's I also good. have it in a mini to make it into a part of a sock set. Yeah. Um, and I have them all in my Black Pearl Magic bag. Oh, yeah. I have my. I have my big one here today with me just hanging out in the back there because I knit at work. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Steph's like, whatever. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, do you have any, any, any uh, yarn you want to show us? Because I do. Okay. I did take a picture of this and it did go on the Floxy account, but I'm super psyched this weekend to get this Chelsea Yarns Lux all um ready to go for my next project which i'm going to reveal to you in two weeks 
time, but it's really oh. you've kept credit record. So yeah, can this I reveal is... your project in two weeks' time? Yeah, in two... well, we're gone. Ne you're on holiday next week. Oh yeah. So can't do it next week without you, Jess. What? So, yes, you can. Yeah, love this. Can't wait to start working with it. I'm gonna actually go and buy a mohair to to just run both strands at the same time. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, I'm gonna be making. Um, a really fabulous sweater. Again, it's simple, super easy for those of you who love a super easy knit. And you know, it's not that I can't knit something more complicated. It's just that I have a, I have a really busy life. You know, I have a really super busy life. I've got four kids, two are still at home and I have a couple of companies and it's hard for me to put the brain power in the evening to a, a complicated project. Mm -hmm. I really like to do simple because then it's not like I've gone through the pattern and then, yeah, another new whip. There you go. I'm going to get up to six, Sylvia. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. It's going to be. That's where I am too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's good job we've got, we've, it's good job we've got a decent amount of project bags, you know, to just put yeah. these projects in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, yesterday, this amazing package from, Fibro Yarns Lindsay came in and I finally got our Floxy Neon Spring colors. Um, when I saw them, I literally gasped. Um, I know, isn't it good? Oh, it's so, so good. good. It's called um, Neon Spring in New York. That is absolute and gorgeousness right there. Isn't it so good? I'm like, uh, and it's like, proper neon i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but i needed it in my life i could not i'm like <laughs> it's she does such a great job she did how many of those did you get only one you know Goodness. i thought maybe um some socks but i feel like this is it needs to be more special than just socks yeah i can see you working that into some type of color work sweater yeah yeah Probably. Something that you really love. Yeah. And then I also got her Ambrosia sock set. <gasps> Ooh. I know. They came in yesterday and I literally was like, are we going live? Because this needs to be shown. Yeah, that needs to be shown. That is gorgeous. I love that. That deep purple is lovely. Mm-hmm. And the pop of pink in there. Mm-hmm. She's a color genius. Yeah, she is. She's I rave favorite. about her all the time. Oh, so good. We got a few comments. Sylvia says uh, we only have six. She's like, that's nothing. That is nothing, that's Sylvia. That's you put it down. <laughs> um, Joy Fiber Ride says now you just need the knit kit for all your project bags. That is true. I do need one. That's right. That's right. They started selling project bags. They did. And then she goes, uh, love that so much. Still waiting on my cake wool to arrive. Just dreaming about how wonderful it will be. Yes. I slept on cake wool. I will say. I just, I don't know what happened, but I missed it. Oh boy. The struggle is real. I can wink, wink, nudge, nudge her. Be like, please have mercy on my soul. Yeah. We, I'm starting off with the Denise Byron um, wave change sweater in yes. The colorway that she dyed for me on that on the loft yard yes. that she over dyed, sorry for me. So I'm going to be starting on that very shortly. And um, I wanted to show you this. Like, okay, so I just got a notification that the new Pom Pom magazine is on its way to my house, <gasps> but I haven't. I haven't even had a chance to really dive into this one. And no, it's so I, good. Have, I mean, I've looked at the patterns, but I haven't started anything in this, but I am dying to go on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm dying to start this pattern. I'd love to do it in like a, um, a baby blue with a multicolored mm -hmm. mohair. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling for this one. Look at you playing with color. I know, I see Shayla too, and all I want to say is, Hi, Shayla, we love you. <laughs> Yay, Shayla. So, what else are we... Any patterns that you, you're loving at the moment? Well, I, yeah, I would totally tell you. I'm not prepared to tell you, though, because there is, I think, okay, Sylvia's going to have to tell us, but she's come out with one pattern 
that's multicolored and it's got all these different colors on it. I'm totally unprepared for that. But I want to do that of Sylvia's. Um, I think it came out in, in, in Vogue. I can't remember. It's been a hot minute. I know that she has a sock pattern that my dear, lovely, amazing, talented sister is test netting for her right now. And it looks so good. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Um, there's a few patterns that I'm loving this week. Um, there is the Rainbow Socks by Allison Lutz. Um, and she is Field Wonderful on Instagram. Yeah. And they're super cute, colorful socks. Um, funfetti. Sorry, mm. Sylvia, what's, that's what it's called. It's called Funfetti. I'm okay, I'm looking it up right now because it's so good. Um, I Oh, and then she says it's from Lane. Lana. It's from Lane. Uh, that's L Lina, right? Lina. Lina, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I, will, I will post these, um, every sweater that we mention or every pattern that we mention onto a Friday Foxy highlight shortly once this is over. So if anybody wants to see them, that's where they will be. Um, and then the other um, pattern that I've been obsessed with is, oh, Joy, Joy Fiber Rap says the wrapped and gray bow by Tiff Milan is so good. It is really good. Speaking of lobby anime, so good. Um, yeah, I can't find this pattern. Oh, well, we're gonna have to wait until another time. Oh, look it up. It's really good. It's um, <laughs> really good, yeah. Um, a, this is a tea pattern by uh, Julie at work and she is Julie Robinson and it's called the Penelope tea and it's yes. so cute. I so am cute. my sister, my sister turned me on to it and I am obsessed. It looks so good. I might buy yarn for it when I'm on vacation. Well, that's why you go on vacation. Yeah. Right. Right. Take an extra bag for all the yarn that you bring back. That's, I mean, what's the point of going on vacation? Mm -hmm. And then you don't hit up all the local yarn stores, right? right. Um, I mean, who so doesn't do that? Says, yeah, I know. Joy Fiber Red says also the Rizzo Cowl Kerchief by Winter Sweetheart Knits is amazing. Um, and oh, Black Girl Magic says that she's obsessed with it. We need to look that one up. Okay, we do. Let's look that one up. And I also want to spotlight one of our Amazing Floxy fam members, um, Deborah. She is Winterberry Knits. She's an amazing Floxy moderator. If you have attended one of our events and you've probably heard her voice and has spent time with her, she is amazing. She's a lovely human being. And I just want to give her a shout out because her Downton, her Royal Downton shawl was number one on Ravelry Hot 100 this past weekend. So that I just wanted to crazy. give her another shout out. Yeah. That's really great. She is so great. She is. I'm like, I just love her and I wanted to give her a shout out, you know? Yeah, that's totally cool. So this is the Rizzo. I'm gonna switch this around, do a switcheroo. <gasps> Ooh. I'm gonna go down, yeah. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. Super nice. I love this yellow and gray and maroon one. You, those are your colors. Yellow and gray. Are you kidding? They are my colors. I love them. They love are them. your colors. Yay. I'm going to turn this back around. Oh, well, anything else that we need to mention? I mean, I need to... I, I think we need to mention Jimmy Beans, right? Jimmy Beans came in as sponsor yep. to Labby and Amy. They did. We are so excited. That was a big psyched. deal for us. That was a big deal for us. Psyched about that. Super, super psyched. So cool. Um, you know, it's just, it's just so much fun happening over here. There's so much going on. Uh, we can't even mm -hmm. keep up with it. It's crazy. Yes. So All many right. things that are happening that we can't quite talk about yet, I but... <laughs> I hate it when people say that, but it's true. We're, we're pumped for a lot of things. Um, so keep your eyes peeled right here in this, this space because things are going to be happening and you guys are going to want to know. <laughs> That's true. Do we have any questions from the crowd? I love Anything to cover? I believe, I think we're good. Okay. Anything, any, anything you want to mention that I'm leaving out? 
Well, on the agenda, you've got Tori NYC is having a birthday sale. Yes. I love Tori. She is a newish designer. Um, she's having a birthday sale. A few of my favorite patterns from her are the Positivity Beanie. It has smiley faces all over it. It has, it's a very like 90s vibe, which I love. Um, and then she also released her first sweater uh, design in April called Butterfly Bloom, which is a really, it's a really cute pattern. Um, it's a yoke sweater. Yes, see, Shayla knows what's up. She goes, OMG, I love her. Yeah, so she's having a birthday sale and I wanted to mention her because her, her patterns are really great. Um, yeah. And they're fun and they're new and they're exciting. That is cool. Well, you know, trusting on you, Jess, you always find us the cool new designers I do on the screen. I can. So cool. Very good. Okay. Well, thanks ever so much, everybody. I think that's everything. Is that right? I believe so. Okay. We're going to skip next Friday because Jess is away, but we're going to pick up the following Friday. We can't wait to see you all then. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank thanks you for joining our roundup. Bye. Thank you for your time, and we appreciate you watching this video. To learn more, visit Floxy.com.